Hi, I'm Tracy, VE3TWM. Thank you for tuning in to Outdoors on the Air. Today I'm here with my friend Tom, VA3WBA. Now Tom is prolific when it comes to working on homebrew antennas, and he's got a really interesting one to show us today. Uh, it is a J-Pole, a 15 meter monoband vertical antenna. And uh, I'm really interested to see what Tom has done and then we'll get it up on a mast and see how it performs. Okay, Tom, here we are looking at your 15 meter J-Pole. Tell us a little bit about the J-Pole. Uh, hello, everybody. Um, so the J-Pole essentially, I saw a couple YouTube videos and got me interested but not for the reason of, of being a J-Pole. I got interested in, in, in this uh, matching section. This is a quarter wave uh, matching section for 15 meters. So it's essentially, it's essentially 21.3 um, megahertz. It's not in the middle of the band. I cut it a little bit too short. But essentially why I'm interested in it is I want to build a vertical Moxon antenna with Tracy. So if Tracy decides to go to a park and activate uh, this park, um, he can build a pretty compact Moxon antenna, but because it's vertical, it's going to be very difficult to feed that dipole in the center of it. So I want to feed this dipole at the end, the bottom end. And uh, that sort of drove me into developing and tuning this, uh, this matching section. Okay, Tom, so we've, we've unraveled the, uh, the antenna. Could you show us where the radiator attaches to the twin lead and what you've done there and why? So the radiator is a regular y isolated wire and I put a little bit of heat shrink on it to secure uh, to secure it. Of course, if you ever decide to build such an antenna, you need to you need to experiment a lot because the velocity factor and you know where you're testing it, it's gonna affect the performance of the antenna. As I was tuning the antenna, I actually cut it too short. I cut I think good two centimeters. Um, too much of the matching section. So you say two centimeters. This thing's really critical then. Yes, it is. It is critical for your for your. There are a lot of things that you have to take under consideration. So there's going to be the length of the matching section, length of the radiator, and also where you're going to feed the antenna. So this section I would start with uh, because the velocity factor that is uh, documented and given to you, in reality might be different. So you need to experiment a little bit and sort of get the hang of what it could be. And, and I can tell you, I would start with like uh, 0 0.9. And I think that for this cable, it's like uh, 0 0.89 or like 88. Um, and then I took the, the, the feed point, essentially I took the dimensions from the internet. There are great resources there if you do your research. So essentially this distance is about 22.5 centimeters. And the interesting part that probably you want to see is what I did here that I have a connector. Uh, I've seen people actually put in here a choke and this is one of one of the things is I didn't have a ferrite that I could use so they actually put choke right here that then later they can attach uh, attach the cable and not worry about the choke. Now what would the bandwidth be on this antenna without a tuner? So it, it pretty much uh, it pretty much covers entire uh, 15 meter bandwidth and that's gonna go from uh, let's say 1.2 at the lowest to probably 1.8 at the highest and like i said is i cut it too short so the dip is at the very end of the band like uh, 21.4 but even with this dip being so high uh, i can pretty much um, cover the lower part of the band without tuner 
Okay, good stuff. Now, from feed point to the end of the radiator, how long would this antenna be? Uh, I would say the radiator is about six meters and some. I don't remember because I cut it so many times and I don't have my notes. Okay. And this section is about, uh, I think, three meters and 20 centimeters, three meters, 15, something, something like this. Again, I cut it, as you can see, a number of times and I, and I did too much. So it is, uh, it is something that whoever wants to, you know, build one of these, um, you have to spend probably a couple hours playing with the lengths of the wires and playing with this feed point to, to, to get really uh, 50 ohms. Like right now it's, I should lower it because it's about 55 ohms, but you know, 55 is good, I would say. So overall about nine meters in length. Yeah, I would say I would say it's going to be nine nine meters. So which, you, you which need is probably in, in just for North American viewers that that's somewhere around uh, thirty feet. Yeah, I would I would say so. Like you need you need twelve. Like I when I was testing it, I used a twelve meter tall uh, fiberglass pole, and and the, the essentially the connector was about you know meter meter and a half. So I would say five feet uh, in the off the ground. Okay, and, and that's that's a pretty good height. If we can get the mm -hmm. feed point up to about five feet, we're we're doing okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. Well, I think we should get it set up and see what happens. Yeah. Let's let's see what's gonna happen. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. This is Sugar Papa Eight America Radio Yankee. Sugar Papa Eight America Radio Yankee. Counted. Power straight at again. It was a V3 station. Yeah. Uh, VA3 WBA, VA3 WBA. VA3 WBA, VA3 WBA. No, we, we cannot break in there. Is there somebody else coming in from here? Yeah. Let's see if there is anybody else. This is Poland too. Uh, VA3, WBA, Victor Alpha 3, Whiskey Bravo Alpha. Victor Alpha 3, Whiskey Bravo Alpha, 5-9, Julius. A ty też jesteś 5-9 in Ontario. Pozdrawiam. Uh, Ontario? Tak, Ontario, Canada. Ok, uh, ale dla mnie jest numer łączności, numer 001. To będzie 001, bo ja tu jestem w parku, nie robię, nie robię w tej chwili żadnego tutaj park activation, po prostu testuję antenę i Ciebie usłyszałem. Ok, dobra, dzięki bardzo, pozdrawiam. Sierra Quebec for Mike Papa Contest. Nicely done, Tom. We got Poland oh, and right. Russia. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Good job. So I think antenna is working. I would say, yeah. <laughs> and without any mocks on it. Very cool. Very cool. You want to try to make somebody else? Yeah, we got the X on first yeah, shot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> So antenna is doing its job, I think. Sure is. Without tuner. Yep. So the note tuner engaged. CQ contest, CQ contest. Sierra Papa for India. CQ contest, CQ contest. Sierra Papa for India. Uh, Victor Alpha 3 Whiskey Bravo Alpha. VA3 WBA. Victor Alpha 3 W. Victor Alpha 3 Whiskey Bravo Alpha. Whiskey Alpha, uh, Victor Alpha 3, uh, Whiskey Bravo Alpha, QSL, 5-9 Juliet, 5-9 Dziękuję bardzo. To jest Violetta Adam 3, Wanda Barbara Adam, południowe Ontario. Numer łączności z panem będzie chyba 002. A, 002. 
Tak jest, ja tu jestem w parku i po prostu odpowiadam na różne kozy, ale ja nie biorę udziału w kontest. Dobra, dziękuję bardzo, do usłyszenia, pozdrawiam. Dziękuję bardzo, 73, VA3, WBA. Good luck. You got a pipeline to Poland. <laughs> Here contest. Here contest. Here fantastic, fantastic. Here contest. Yeah, like Here it's contest. Here mine's blowing. Here yeah, like, yep. No, it's the antenna is clearly working. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And this is like without you. Yeah. Yeah. And then see, it, so SWR, I was watching it. Mm -hmm. It's sort of going up and down. I think we need the choke somewhere else. Right. But. Uh, but it never sort of contest, blew up the radio. Contest, no, not at all. India. Not even you close. Contest, it's it's just contest, working Sierra as you would expect. A 15 meter antenna to work. And here's the thing, right? A lot of people are using compromise antennas on 15, contest, right? They're using contest, tuners Sierra to bring Papa their, and their uh, dipoles into resonance on 15, which is a compromise, as opposed to using something like this, which is actually cut for the band and is going to give optimum results on 15. <laughs> Tom's blown away. And, and by the way, no, I didn't understand what he was saying in Polish either. But uh, fantastic. Let's call this one a success. Thanks for showing us, Tom. Definitely a success. The antenna is, is working and we can start, you know, working on our moxing. Yeah. Next step, right? Next step. Oh, fantastic. Well done, Tom. Congratulations. And uh, thanks for uh, showing us the antenna. All right. So that's all for this time. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget, uh, I'm going to be leaving a link to Tom's, uh, one of Tom's videos at the end of this video. So go and follow it and check out some of the stuff Tom is doing in regard to showing people about the thinking and uh, calculating that goes into creating these antennas. So until next time. Get out of the shack, get outdoors and get on the air. 7-3 from Tracy, VE3, TWM. Oh, 7-3 from Tom too.